Boston State University in Nacogdoches is now one step closer to becoming a member of the University of Texas system. Today, the Texas Senate Committee on Education held a hearing on Senate Bill 1055, something lawmakers will have to vote on to officially bring SFA's time as an independent university to an end. Here's KLTV7's Avery Gorman. Senate Bill 1055 would abolish SFA and recreate it within the UT system. Senator Robert Nichols of Jacksonville says the university will keep its name the same under the notion of a member of the University of Texas system. Additionally, all students, tenured faculty, and tenured track faculty will be offered a spot at SFA. The University of Texas Board of Regents Chairman Kevin L. Teif and SFA President Dr. Steve Westbrook testified at the hearing in favor of the bill. Westbrook detailed held the process the board went through in choosing to affiliate with the UT system. I hope this review of our due diligence our board and community conducted in making this decision really illustrates how comprehensive, open, and transparent our process was. Westbrook referred to SFA's school song and how it represents the importance of the school's traditions and how they will be upheld throughout the transition. But, oh, future bright neath the purple and white, all hell to SFA. Well, our future is going to be very bright indeed as the 14th member of the University of Texas system. And our colors will still be purple and white, so all hail to SFA. L-Type says they are honored and enthusiastic about taking the next steps in the process. Our proposal to SFA outlined our sincere commitment to helping the university build upon its programs, traditions, culture that have made this university unique for 100 years while adding the resources that are desperately needed. No one testified against the bill. Bill. Avery Gorman, KLTV 7 News. The next step in the process is committee approval, which still needs to be scheduled. To an up